about your friends. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's see. What about your friends? That's what we talking about today. <laughs> on half and I have been wanting to do one of these for a while especially because the topic matter of said video has been in the back of my mind for probably I'm itching my damn titty and shit oh. uh, in my mind for the last two weeks it's just been floating around and I was actually on Periscope today which by the way I am now on Periscope I'm also on Snapchat and I talk to everybody on Snapchat and everybody on Periscope as best I can but Periscope is like Snapchat on crack like on roids really is what I really should say um anyway so follow me on snapchat and periscope if you'd like at socialite sandy s-a-n-d-e okay so we were talking on periscope this morning okay and had a nice hour-long session right and uh shorty red i believe i think shorty red 34 i hope you don't mind that i mentioned your uh your name on here or your periscope name okay um she mentioned along with a couple other people on the scope that uh she's having some things going on with some friends in her life and some people mentioned family members and some people mentioned other things that being said it's kind of interesting that they brought that up because that is something that I've been thinking about very heavily because uh, you know you guys you know in friendships and life and relationships whatever the case may be even in business or whatever your relationships or situations or friendships or whatever the fuck evolve they change that's what they're supposed to do because you yourself are human and you're part of that so by default as you change that situation may also change as well so these last couple weeks that's been just heavy on my mind I've been wanting to do a video on this and that's kind of how this whole thing got started so thank you to all of y'all on Periscope who was hanging out with your girl this morning looking crusty, dusty, making me some breakfast, okay? So, what I did was I got on Instagram, which is Socialite Sandy, and basically asked y'all to let me know what you guys wanted me to answer in a video regarding friendships slash relationships, okay? And when I say y'all blew my shit the fuck up and asked me a bunch of questions like, I mean, and quick too. Y'all are still asking me questions. And I just posted this just a little bit ago, but I promised y'all I would do a video on it. So y'all know how these question and answer videos go. They just off the top of the dome. So whatever the fuck comes out of my motherfucking mouth is whatever the fuck comes out of my motherfucking mouth. As usual, y'all know how I like to do it. All right, so here we go. So I asked y'all to give me some things you guys wanted me to answer. And I'm going to just basically go through these and kind of see what we can talk about, you know. And of course, if I don't have a lot of time to go through, because y'all know I'm long-winded as fuck and I'm very detailed and, and I'm also very anal, retentive, um, and I just like to talk. Let's just be real, okay. Um, if it ends up being too long and I have to stop at a certain point, if you guys want me to do a part two, if you guys want me to continue this conversation, if there's any part of this conversation you want me to continue in another video or make its own topic matter, please leave those comments, that feedback or whatever the fuck down below, or if you have any additional feedback feedback for whoever posted the question feel free to also make mention of that down below because that might help that person who asked the question to begin with all right so let me know like I said if you guys want me to do these uh, more frequently and if so what topic matter you want me to discuss and if there's any additional questions you can also leave them down below this video as well because I will keep these and of course um, shoot it if you guys want me to okay okay <clears throat> I'm randomly picking some. Um, some are a little longer than others, and they might need more of a specific video, so I'm gonna try to go through these as, as fast as I can. Okay, that way it's not an hour and a half long video. Okay, here we go. So this person asks, uh, friendships that don't give you, they want me to talk about friendships that don't give you what you give them, so you are left feeling like you aren't as important to them as they are to you. 
I chose this one for a reason. Um, because I have dealt with that shit before. And the shit is something that you have to kind of come to terms with, okay? We were talking about this on Periscope, actually, this morning. And just to kind of touch on and elaborate on what I mean by that and what I think you mean by that as well. So thank you for submitting that. Um, one thing I can truly say is in any relationship, whether it's a friendship, a business partnership, um, a relationship, okay, where you're more than plutonic, or whatever the case may be, the shit has to be reciprocal. When I say that, I mean the effort that you give that relationship, that friendship, that person, that business, that whatever the fuck it may be, needs to be exactly what the fuck you get back in return, okay? There should be no one-sided friendships or one-sided relationships where you're giving more than what you should give. And if if that person's not giving you what you're giving them, you need to sit back and think to yourself, why the fuck am I doing this shit? Because I'm wasting a lot of energy on something that's not giving me anything. And when I say giving me, I don't mean as in, for, you know, I don't mean things that are necessarily selfish. I'm not looking for something in that, in that, I'm not talking about something in that respect. I'm talking about as in you, if you were in a situation where you felt you needed that person, that you needed that person to speak to, to help you out in the situation, to be a support system, just, just be a friend or to be a boyfriend or to be a girlfriend or to be a wife or to be a husband or to be a partner or whatever the fuck it may be. If you were in a situation where you needed that assistance, would that motherfucker that you put in all that effort and energy into towards, would that motherfucker do the same thing for you? Would they drop everything and take care of whatever it is that you need? Would they to uh, make sure to be there for you as a support system if you're having a hard time just as you would for them? Do you see where I'm going with this? Um, another thing that I've dealt with that you know I also have dealt with previous to this and even in these last couple years is dealing with friends that seem to be more on the give me give me give me side of things and that is right along the lines of what I'm talking about as well which is those people who are just looking to get something out of your friendship and they all they want to do is take 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 but they're not willing to give as well okay and the one thing I can truly say and that's this is something that I tell anyone that I that I talk to my friends my family or whatever the case may be no relationship is a relationship if it's not a symbiotic reciprocal type of situation there needs to be some symbiosis involved does that make sense you know what I mean and the one thing that I've come to terms with or that I've had to realize as I've gotten older is that there are just some relationships and some situations and some friendships that just ain't worth putting the fucking energy towards any fucking more and when it's time to go the fuck on and when it's time to raise that motherfucking white flag when it's time to take that 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 fork in the road and go another direction, take that shit. Get the fuck out. Drop they asses. And you ain't got to announce it to the motherfucking world. You ain't got to let these motherfuckers know, look, I'm finna leave. I'm done with your ass. You don't even have to make it a drawn out, dramatic exit. You can just exit quietly and let your actions speak for themselves. Because a lot of times, which is another thing we were talking about on Periscope today, a lot of times, that energy that you devote to trying to make that old, big old, dramatic ass exit and all the shit talking you want to do to whoever the fuck you have beef with or trying to be, you know, just being all in your feelings and upset and showing them that, that side of you that you don't even need to do, you know, you don't even need to show them because you're pretty much done at this point, can be used for something more positive. You can put that energy and that effort and that time into a relationship, a friendship, or whatever, a situation, a business, or whatever that's more, it's going to be more fruitful for you and that's more worth it, okay? And these, in these last probably two, three years, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I've had several friendships that I would consider, I guess, newer friendships that I had to kind of take a step back and say, <laughs> What the fuck am I doing putting all this time and energy into it when I know I'm not getting that same thing in return, you know? And, you know, people be, you know, when people start to act funny, um, when, you know, it just seems more one-sided, you know? And I just, I had to just, just let that shit go because ain't nobody got time to put no energy and effort into anything that's just not worth it okay so honey bunny who left me that question or that that topic matter and any one of y'all who are dealing with a situation like that please don't waste your time don't waste your energy no more and to be real there are going to be relationships and friendships 
in situations that are going to be harder to leave than others because believe me when I say uh, shit it's, it's, it's hard to walk away for a friendship that you know from a friendship you've had for 20 plus years or 15 plus years or your whole life and you when you, when you finally do come to terms with that that it's time for that friendship to kind of expire when it's time for you to walk away from that shit and it's hurtful and it hurts because that's someone that you actually gave a fuck about that you loved you cared for you guys had a long-term relationship friendship or whatever the case may be some of these times are going to be hard it's going to be harder to walk away from those but believe me when i say when you drop that shit and you allow yourself the time to heal Okay, and you take that energy and that effort you put into that relationship and you put it into something more positive or something that's more fruitful or in, even into another relationship that maybe just wasn't getting enough attention. Okay, I promise y'all you will not regret it. Okay, so don't waste your time on wasted bullshit and don't waste your fucking efforts because life is too fucking short to be wasting your time with some bullshit. You hear me? Okay, so believe me when I say been here done that okay and you will continue to do that as you grow okay look if i sound preachy i apologize but <sighs> i know a lot about this shit. so we're gonna we're gonna wrap a taste and of course do you boo boo i always tell my friends you do what you want to do okay i can only advise you on what i would do okay so whatever the fuck i tell you don't don't come back to my son i did what you told me and it was the worst decision i ever made in my entire life hey bitch i told you i'm telling you what I would do okay and hopes that it might help you as well that's my disclaimer okay here we go how do you handle stubborn friends like people who tell you their problems but when you offer advice they disregard it and keep doing the same things Lord okay just pray for them <laughs> let me tell you why I said it like that oh Lord this is probably one of the most frustrating things on the Dagon planet. Let me give you a example. And this is not real life examples I'm giving you. I'm giving you just, you know, scenarios just so you understand what I'm trying to say, okay? So let's say you have a friend and you guys are really close and you guys talk about your relationships. This particular person comes to you all the time with their problems with their, their boyfriend or their girlfriend and they're consistently talking to you about the same bullshit that this motherfucker puts them through. What should I do, girl? What should I do, man? What should I do, right? And you go through the whole rigmarole, okay, of talking to them and talking them through it and wiping their tears and telling them what they should do. And this continues to keep happening. For me, I have an expiration date on that shit. Y'all know I've done a video on this. I did it years ago. And if you guys have been following me for a while, y'all know I have a limit on that shit. If you keep coming to me, talking to me about the shame old shit, Time and time again, I'm giving you the same daggone advice. Doesn't mean you have to listen to every single thing that I'm telling you to do. But if you're not even trying to take heed, you're not even trying to change the situation that is getting you so upset or that is negative in your life. You're not making any effort whatsoever to change that shit. These conversations are done. You and I will no longer partake in said conversation. Because not only are you wasting your time. You wasting my shit too. I ain't got time to be repeating my damn self. This other shit I could be doing. I could put that shit in energy. Like I said, put the energy into the right things. I don't need to be continuously telling you to leave that motherfucker. I don't need to consistently tell you to talk it out with him or her. I don't need to do that no more. It, it didn't have to be about relationships either. It could be anything. If you just if you have done nothing in your situation to make changes to better the situation or whatever the case may be and it's a two-year thing and we we still talking about this two years later motherfucker we ain't got time for this shit no more and i will tell you the expiration date on this topic matter has expired tell me down below if y'all remember my rule before i say it so if any of y'all remember the rule from the video okay and it was from years ago here on this channel. I'll link it down below so y'all can check it out because it's years ago that I put this video up. But if any of y'all remember that particular video and what I said their expiration date was, the days, because I have a certain number of days that you and I, as in friends or whatever the fa fuck, family, whatever, are going to continue to discuss this conversation before it starts to fall on deaf ears. Okay? Comment down below, let me know if you guys remember the exact number of days. Because I really do have a number of days, girl. Oh, look, I had to 
okay because there comes a point in time that if you allow someone to keep continuing to come to you with negative 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 he did this i just can't do this i can't i won't i don't want to do it who else is that going to start to affect you the more you hear somebody say i can't i won't i will not but i don't know how i don't want to do this the more you hear somebody coming to you with some bullshit, and I don't mean all all things that are brought to you from a friend or a family member, whatever the case is, bullshit, but when it starts to become redundant and it becomes negative because that can happen and it happens quite often, that will start to affect and infiltrate your life as well. Believe me when I say that. Okay? So, just so you guys know, for those of you guys that are newer that didn't see that video, my expiration date for most people, for most topics, not all, depends on the topic. But the heavier ones is 182.5. That's the exact number of days you've got for us to discuss this topic matter specifically. If after, then that's exactly six months, okay? If you haven't done the math yet, all right? So if after six months, we still talking about your boyfriend who talks to you like a motherfucking dog, okay? And we've had this conversation time and time and time and time and time again over these last six months and nothing has changed and you've done nothing and I have to know you ain't done shit and I usually do because if we're that close I know you haven't okay then by six months and it's usually earlier than that for that type of shit we're done we're done I'm we are not we are no longer going to conversate about that specifically okay we can talk about anything else I will be there for you when it's time to pack up your shit and get the fuck out that motherfucker's house I will be there for you for that shit but my concern is that you're doing whatever you can to change your negative situation or the negative thing that you're referring to to a positive one and I'm not being a friend to you if I continue to let you just be negative 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 and live in negative town and live in negative ville okay and continue to keep saying I can't I won't I don't know how I can't I can't I can't okay and you're not helping yourself what kind of friend am I you know what I'm saying so that's my rule of thumb generally speaking it doesn't apply to every situation because clearly when you're married it's different it's harder to get out of relationships when you're married clearly there's there's situations that are going to change the advice the expiration date or whatever the case may be but for those of you guys who have stubborn friends or family members that can you know constantly seek out advice and do nothing and they don't have to do what you say okay they have to do what's best for them but they at least have to try to make an effort to change it okay so don't get offended if they don't listen and do exactly what you tell them to do that's not what you're trying to get them to do okay you just want them to better themselves to better the situation to improve upon it that you want them to make a change if they're not even willing to do that then you're not willing to give them any more advice because guess what they don't already heard this shit two and three and four and five times already so they don't need to hear that shit again okay don't waste your energy on things that aren't necessary when they're ready to get the fuck out move out the house I will be there bitch with an extra suitcase to get your ass out of your man's house okay all right so next up we have Miss Maria hey boo boo how you doing mama okay that's my girlfriend Maria okay so she asks how do you deal with friends and I can say her name because that's my girl <laughs> how do you deal with friends that don't support you Quite simply, I don't. Fuck them, girl. Fuck them. 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 You ain't got shit to do with the fuck I'm doing. Bah. For real, on some real shit, I, I, don't, I don't fuck with people who don't ride for me. If I'm riding for you, then you need to ride for me, you know? And everyone has their own way of expressing themselves and showing love and support. But, you know, so I'm not expecting them to be the exact same way that I am with them because I'm a different person. I'm a different personality. I'm going to express my love and my support for you differently than you might show me. But I have to still see that effort and energy there. And if you don't support what the fuck I'm doing, unless it's something negative that I'm doing, that you're saying that I'm doing, that you don't support, which I totally understand. But if it's on some, like, I have some dreams and goals and aspirations that I'm trying to achieve and y'all ass just don't even give a fuck about that shit and shows no interest in getting to know about it or even and supported as a close friend family member whatever the fuck it may be i'm not fucking wasting my time with your ass either hope you have a great life hope all is well with you boo boo but we done because that's you ain't friend we ain't friends that's why i did that we ain't friends a friend
friend doesn't do that to another friend, okay? Another thing that I've seen quite often, okay, and also I've experienced and dealt with as well, is those friends who say they support you and you say you support them and you show that love and support for what they're doing on a consistent basis without a question, without them even having to come to you and say, hey boo boo, would you mind? Hey boo, do you, do you, do you, do you, do you mind da da, da 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 Whatever the case it may be. What do you think about that? Giving the advice, whatever the case may be. Oh, I saw something that might help you in whatever, your business or whatever, okay? But I've had those people who are quick to say they support my black ass, right? And I'm supporting them and showing them, outwardly so. And I ain't seen shit from these motherfuckers, but they're going to take everything you give as far as support is concerned. And you drop them motherfuckers too. You drop them quick. And you drop them quicker than your enemy. Because those are the people you watch out for. Because it is all about the take, take, take. They're going to continue to take as long as you give it. But if they're not willing to show that love and support towards you as well, why the fuck are you in this shit? Like I said, relationships. It's a relationship regardless of how deep it is, whether it's a family member, friend, or whatever the case may be, okay? Don't let these little fake-ass friends come up here and try to act like they're trying to support you, but really they're trying to get some shit from you. Uh, no. Believe me when I say it's exhausting. It's exhausting, okay, to maintain those types of relationships. Just don't. Don't put your mind, energy, anyone who doesn't support you, fuck them. Fuck them, okay? If you were once friends with somebody, like really close, do you feel once you two aren't friends anymore, it's cool or wrong to bash them and air out their flaws and everything? Just saw this happening and some people think it's cool. Yeah, I've seen that too, okay? Um, you know, if you're in a, in a situation where you've been friends with someone for a very long time, I know for me, if I've been in a relationship, whatever, friendship or whatever the case may be that um, I've been in for a while and we had a closeness and all of a sudden we just aren't friends anymore or we're not in a relationship, it doesn't have to necessarily just be friendship, I think it's tacky as fuck to start talking shit about them behind their back and shit and tell other people what the fuck went on and tell people, you know, oh yeah, why, you know, they, they asses did this and they ain't got shit, you know. Uh, clearly, you thought whatever the fuck was going on with them before it was cool for you to be friends with them, you know what I'm saying? But the other side of it is too, why waste your energy on that shit? You know what I'm saying? Um, it just doesn't make sense to me, you know. I've had, you know, a couple of friendships and that I've literally just said it's done. I, it's just, it's not going to work out. And it was long term, a long term friendship. And I've never opened my mouth to speak ill of them. And I never would. Because at the end of the day, I personally just wish the best for everyone. Even if that person did me dirty, I stay wishing the best for everyone. I try to remain as positive as possible. And I just feel like that shit will come back a hundredfold, you know, and it shows a level of maturity too. Going back after you done stop talking to this motherfucker, all of a sudden telling everyone they business and bashing them behind their back. What do you get out of that? What do you gain out of that? Nothing. Nothing. It's just a bunch of negativity strewn out there for whatever the fuck. But what satisfaction do you really get out of that? So when people do that, I hate that shit. That's the one thing I don't do. Like if someone would come to me and be like, hey, how such and such? And, and, and they didn't know that we weren't cool anymore. I'm like, you know what? I haven't talked to them in a while, but I'm sure they're doing well. Or but I, you know, but you know, I'm, I'm sure they're great. Okay. That's all they need to know. They don't need to know why we don't talk. Why I don't fuck with the motherfucker no more. What the fuck's their credit score? They don't need to know all that shit. Because reality is, like I said, it's just putting energy and time and effort into something that's just not fucking worth it. So why bother? So I, when I see that shit, I think it's tacky as fuck. You want to do that? Then continue to remain in your negative place. But this bitch right here... That ain't gonna happen. That's just, that's just not me. Okay, so this is probably gonna be the last question because I don't have much time on my damn, on my damn camera. I've been shooting all day. Okay, let's see. So the last one. When is it okay? I think this is what she's trying to say. When is it okay to confide in friends about your relationship? Because sometimes you really just need someone to talk to. Okay. That is sticky. 
it's sticky. Um, it's a sticky one because personally to me, I think it varies depending on the relationship you're discussing. Okay. So here's, here's, here's why I say that. For instance, to me, when you talk to somebody, a friend of yours or whatever the case may be about your marriage, when you're married and you're having problems in your marriage and you're talking to your friend or confidant or whatever the case may be, it's just a little bit more it's just a little bit more personal especially because there's legalities involved there's a marriage involved it's a, it's a legal union you know what i mean a spiritual and a legal one you know and it's just heavier um i would be no matter what I, I would always say to be careful about what business you tell to whom whether you're in a relationship or in a uh, marriage or whatever the case may be because you just don't know just like what we spoke about just a second ago where if you ever fall out with that person would you want your business in the street if they were spiteful would they be that motherfucker that would turn around and put that business you done told them throughout the course of their front of your friendship would you trust that they would keep that to themselves you got to be real careful with that and that's in every sense not just if you're married but i feel more so when you're married um because that's your personal business you know what i'm saying and that's super personal when you're married to somebody and you're talking about your marital stuff okay um that being said it's a slippery slope um a very slippery slope i'm not the most trusting of people when it comes to um certain things that i share with people you know and that's just me um because we're human and everyone makes mistakes so there's always that one time that motherfucker could just slip not intentionally trying to be mean not intentionally trying to be rude you know and not trying to be spiteful but might just slip up and say some shit you know I ain't gonna take no chance. You gonna you gonna know what I'm what I'm what I'm gonna tell you, but I ain't gonna tell you all of it, okay? Because you just never know, okay? Now, if the the script was flipped and the person confided in me about their relationship, their situation, what's going on in their world, would they can they trust me to not reveal that to somebody else? Absolutely, but that, I know me. I know I know me as an individual. I know that I wouldn't go there because I don't waste my time on that shit. But would I trust that someone else maybe wouldn't necessarily put my business in the street or put their? You know what I'm saying? I can't trust that. So I really would say err on the side of caution when it comes to what it is that you do share with your friends, what you do share with your family or whatever, because if there is a fallout, if there is a situation that comes up down the line where y'all ain't speaking to Mo, and if they really want to be spiteful, they can use that against you and they can use that to harm you. And I just, I, I just wouldn't want to see you go down like that. Okay. So just filter your shit a little whenever possible. Okay. So anyway, y'all. When I say y'all had a hell of questions, like I'm still getting them as I'm sitting here, which is why my phone was going off a little bit and I had to turn on vibrate finally. Any hoodle, Juice is heading back home any minute now and I'm finna head to the gym as I usually do. However, I had to come in and uh, do this video because you guys really, I mean, y'all flooded me and I want to do another video if you want me to because there's so many questions on here. Um, and I, it sounds as though there's a lot of questions on relationships, not necessarily friendships, but relationships as far as couples and marriage and all those types of things, dating and all those things, okay? So if there's anything, any topic matter in particular you guys want me to do in a future video, feel free to leave it down below, okay? Um, if there's questions you guys want me to ask in my next question answer video, leave that down below as well. Um, general questions, not specific to me personally, as in the sense of, uh, you know, when you ate your eggs the other day, did you choke? Like, no. <laughs> Generally, qu general things. Those are the things I'm going to answer for the most part because it applies to more people. Does that make sense? And of course, I'll let you guys know my, my, my opinion and my experience so I'm always gonna throw me in there you know what I'm saying just because I can tell you if I've experienced it or not you know what I mean um, and leave your topic matter down below make sure you guys thumbs up this video if you guys love seeing these types of videos from your girl and yeah y'all y'all already know what to do hit me up on Periscope y'all know it's Socialized Sandy because we do a lot of talking and we have fun you see me looking cray cray no matter what but y'all know I'm cray cray on my vlog channel and I look busted on there too so why the fuck not on Periscope and Snapchat at Socialized Sandy hit me up on Twitter at Socialized Sandy and of course all of my social networks are down below alright and you already know I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next video love y'all Bye.